Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you contouring for dummies. I was a dummy when I started off in makeup, so I was really bad at it, and I don't care how many Pinterest examples there were and all the diagrams that showed you how to do it, I didn't get it. So here's just the basics and the most explaining I can do to make it easy for you. So start off with a contour and highlight powder. I'm going to be working with powders today because there's all types of contouring you could do. You could do it with foundation, with creams, with everything, and I think powders are the easiest. So I'm going to be using the Victoria's Secret um, highlighter and the Physician's Formula bronzer. You want a matte bronzer, and by matte that means no shimmer, because when you're putting shimmer all over your face, it's just kind of gonna be kind of obvious you're wearing bronzer and that's not you know the look we're going for we're looking for the natural bone reconstruction kind of look where you're just going to be shaping your face now onto brushes there is so many brushes you can use to contour and highlight there's so many there's no really wrong brush to use I think the easiest brush to use for bronzing is probably the one that came with it and this just comes in a little kit with the bronzer but I also like my elf one because you can use the very tip of it the side of the brush to get the same effect as you would with a flat one and you can also use the top for you know the top of your head so I'm gonna be using this brush and you can go ahead and go buy it. it's just at Kmart or at Target it's only a dollar I think and it is the elf powder brush so I'm going to start off with my bronzer and you want to be working this into the outer rums of your face. This is going to help sculpt your face and recede the light. First I'm going to work with the cheekbones. So you want to work the bronzer right into the tip. See how I'm doing that right into the tip? And that's similar if you're going to be using this, just work it straight onto it. So then you're going to locate your cheekbone. Now if you have super defined cheekbones and you can just totally see the line, then you're lucky because I don't. And so you just place it right in that line that sets. Not all of us have really defined cheekbones, and that's why we have to contour. We're going to feel for it. And you're going to feel that bone right there. So feel that bone, feel right underneath it, and feel all the way down. And the trick that I used when I first started contouring is I noticed that smile, the end of the apple of your cheek, that's kind of the line you're using up to the top of your ear. It's this line right here. That's about the line that you're using. And if you can't place it exactly where you felt it because it's kind of hard for you, then do my other favorite method. Get any type of card, index card, ID card, whatever, and place it right underneath your bone and so you can feel it. And you can smile, see how it ends right at the end of my um, apple on my cheek. And so go ahead and take your bronzer on the brush and then just work that right into the edge. Now with um, contouring the cheeks, you don't want to go below this line. You can blend above it, so you can blend upwards too. And you want to focus the darkness right on the outside. See how it made that really clear and defined line? Well, that's your line of contour. Now you don't want to leave it like that because that doesn't look the most natural, so now you're just going to take your brush and just kind of blend it out so it looks a lot more natural. And now I have to find my cheekbones. So now I'm going to show you on this side with this brush. So it's just going to dip it into the bronzer. I'm going to suck in my cheeks and locate that right there. And I'm just going to pat that right there and it's going to get lighter as it comes to the apple of the cheek because I don't want it to be a straight dark line all the way through. You want it to have the most shadow on the edge of your face, the outer realm of your face. And once I have that nice contour, I'm just going to blend it upwards. And your blush is also going to help this to blend. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush now and you can see. So as you can see, it just has a nice defined look to it and it doesn't look too, you know, smacked on there or nothing it's just it's just to redefine your face so after we move on from the cheeks we're going to go ahead and move on to the nose so the purpose of contouring your nose is so that it doesn't look flat that it looks more defined and also more straight long and you know pretty <laughs> so I think the easiest brush to use is probably the brush that it just comes with 
and if you don't have this set then no problem you can go ahead and use an eyeshadow brush so this is actually the elf contour brush and this is again a dollar so you can also use this it doesn't really matter so just dip it in there and always have a light hand when you're working with bronzer you don't want to just smack on product and then work fiercely hard to try to blend it out just build onto it start off with a little bit and then keep building on until you get your desired amount i have a light over there and you can kind of see see how that light kind of hits right here on the very edge of my nose creating that line that's the exact line you want to contour so we're just going to work that on the outer part of the nose and you want to also make sure when contouring the nose to bring it up into the socket so you don't want it to just end right here because it's going to be a little more obvious you want to bring it right into the socket to make it look more natural and to blend better and continuing that on the other side, I'm just going to be demonstrating with this brush to go ahead and just dip it in and just place it right there on the outer part and then just work that down and then up into the front. There's only one. Now for the tip of the nose, you don't want to neglect the tip of the nose. It's not as important in my opinion, but you do want it to make it look nice and rounded. So go ahead and take your brush, dip it in, and you're just going to work that on the very tip just for a nice doll kind of look connecting the lines from the outside to the tip. I think this one is the biggest part that you need to blend. Of course you need to blend all contouring, but this can be the most obvious if you don't blend it. So take any brush, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't take this um, small one because it has product on it already. You want to take like a clean brush, just a fluffy brush, and just blend away any harsh edges. Maybe there's some excess powder on there to get off. Okay, now I'm going to be working on the temples on my head. So I'm going to actually be using the tip of this brush. This is why I love this brush because it also works with the temples. And I'm just going to dip it straight on. Now I'm not going to swirl it in and get a bunch of product on it because again, you want to build. So I'm just going to be working that right into the outer part of my head. You can also feel for your bone right here. And you just want to contour, you know, just that little spot. You can just go in like a buffing motion. I wouldn't really recommend this in the winter time and you don't even need to do it on a daily basis but every once in a while if you want to, especially for the summertime when we look tan and stuff, I recommend blending it right into that hairline because it just gives it a nice polished and tan look to it and also because it is the outer rims of your face so it still looks natural. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to be doing my jawline and my neck. You never want to neglect the jawline and the neck because that needs to be the darkest and needs to blend in with your face because you don't want a mask on your face. You want it to all blend in. So again, you can take this brush. I'm actually going to grab a fluffy brush, but I will, ooh, but I will still show how to blend with this brush. So I'm just going to be taking this small contour brush right here and I'm just going to work it a little bit into the bronzer and I'm just going to start at my chin and lightly work it outwards just on the jaw and up to the ears. Now you don't want to be too heavy on the bronzer on your neck because then it's not going to match your face but you just want to create that shadow effect so I'm going to be real light on the hand I'm just going to buff that all over my neck, not concentrating in only one area, but just blending it evenly. And if you're using this brush, just do the same thing. Dip it straight in, and then just blend it out. And you want to also get a little bit behind the ear. Don't just stop in that middle portion. Okay, now we're done with contouring. I hope I answered all your questions. If you still have any questions on contouring with powders only, then comment below. Now we're going to be working on highlighters. So highlighters are really simple. I mean, contouring can be kind of difficult getting in the right places, but I think highlighters are super, super simple. Take any fluffy brush. Again, you can use this one and just use it the exact same way I've been using it, but I'm going to take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to work it into the tip. When you're working with highlighters, you really don't want to grab a ton of product and smack it on your face. You really want to work it in small amounts because you don't want a huge shine to catch um, someone's eye. You want just the slightest 
um, shine to look naturally because people with high cheekbones when they smile, they tend to have a little bit of reflection right here from the sun and it looks really pretty. But when you have a big old glittery mark right here, it's not going to look natural or pretty. It's just going to look really fake and just, it's not good. It's not good. So just use a little amount of product. Just work that right onto the top of the cheekbone. You don't want to work it too far into the inner corner. Just on this outer part and just dust it. Just dust it really lightly. And see, you can already see the little shimmer there. And that's it. And then work that on the other side. I'll show you again with this e.l.f. brush. Just work that tiniest bit right into the edge. Right there. Or a portion and you also make sure to blend that because you don't want a line so go ahead and blend it in with your blush and your contour now since you don't want to look too shiny I wouldn't recommend using this deep into the inner realm of your face but I would just say take whatever is left on your brush or if you want just dip it real lightly again and work it right to the bridge of the nose a little bit on the center of the forehead a little on the cupid's bow and on your chin. If you want to look for that perfectly polished, maybe prom look, then go ahead and take your finger, and I'm taking my ring finger, of course, because it has the lightest touch, and dipping that right into the highlighter, and then put that right on your cupid's bow, and that's just going to give that really pretty plump lip look. With contouring, you can also put it on your eyes, but I don't really contour my eyes. I do that all with eyeshadows, and when I'm not wearing eyeshadows, I'm not going to contour my eyes. I'm just going to put on mascara and call it good. I hope you guys liked this video on contouring and highlighting. If you have any questions, just ask me down below in the comments, and make sure to subscribe. Okay, bye!